This fish is massive. What up, this your boy Boston. Welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate y'all coming through, kicking it with your boy, man, and just checking out the videos. But today is the day we all been waiting for. We finally finna pick up this giant garami for a thousand gallon pond. I'm super excited, and I know you guys are too. It's a beautiful day. I got the sunroof open, the sun is shining. It's just a beautiful day to be alive, man. So I hope everybody is having a good day. Just keep grinding. Don't let the weight of the world get you, man. Anything you want in life, you can achieve. All you gotta do is grind every day for it. So we finna go up in the store, bag this grimy up, and we finna head to the crib and get this dude situated, man. So if you're new around here, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel because we drop nothing but bangers on here, man. So let's head in the store and I'll catch you guys in there. So we back at Aquatic Environments, man. And look at our new beautiful fish. I love this dude. I thought they was gonna sell it, but nah, I had told them I was coming to pick them up, so they held them for me. But he is beautiful. I can't wait to get this dude home. He is so beautiful. I see they got some uh, guards up in here too. Some nice little needle nose guards or something. They looking good. Yeah, I was wondering, uh, I was wondering if I was gonna have to bring like a cooler or something, but I see y'all got some oh, big we'll bags. Oh, y'all got one? Yeah. All right, bet. Get this dude bagged up. Definitely gonna need that big bag. Did y'all order him or somebody brought him in? Somebody brought him in. Oh. Add him in. No. He do, he do oh, okay. Yeah, he do be doing that. Good water. See if he's gonna be a little splashy. Right. Okay. Looking beautiful. <laughs> we got him in the bag, y'all. Ready to go. They got that copyright plan in here, man. <laughs> He's going to my thousand gallon pond. Right? Yeah. So he's going to be massive. Yeah. <laughs> the next six months, boy, he's going to be huge. <laughs> he's just a baby. Good air. Ready to go. Okay, she got the box. Definitely gonna need that. We'll make it a little bit easier to carry. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> Double bag them up. Big boy there.
Yes, sir. Uh, I might look at. Some, I need to grab some prime too. Where y'all, where y'all prime at? Oh, I see it. Need to grab a nice little bottle of prime. Can't go wrong. Oh, look at this tank, y'all. I want to show y'all this last time I was here. This is a nice little freshwater planted tank. Definitely inspiring. All right, y'all. So we back in the whip. We left the fish, though. We got the giant Garami in the box, bagged up, ready to go. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to get him home. I should have put a seatbelt on him just to make sure he was safe. But we finna head to the crib, man. But if you guys made it this far in the video so far, man, hit that like button because this is a major W for us in the fish room, man. Could not wait to get this dude home. So we finna head to the crib, get him situated, and uh, I'll hit you guys back here in a second. So we back at the crib and we finna unbox this bad boy, man. Made it home safely. This fish is heavy. Where's the water? I don't know. Oh my God, he's so massive. Humongous. Cannot wait to get him in the pond. Alright, so yeah, we got him home safely, everything doing good. I will say this, and y'all probably gonna be mad at me, but he will not be going into the pond today. I had got the water tested when I was at the store, and the water's not ready, the parameters are not right. So we're not going to be adding him to the pond today, but we are going to be adding him in with the other monster fish that we do have. So he's going to be going into that tank, and then everything is going to be getting transferred over here probably next week. We'll start adding in all the fish into this pond. I had cleaned the pond today, so it's a little murky. I had wiped all the sides and the glass off to get all that sludge and algae off of it. So the water is a little cloudy right now, but it'll clear up probably the next day or so. It'll clear up. But man, we got this Grammy. I'm finna go ahead, set the camera up, get him acclimated to the monster tank over here. Then we're gonna feed them too. I'm gonna grab some of these goldfish out of here. So we're gonna feed the red tail, the bass, and all the other fish in here. So let me get that situated and uh, we'll get that going. Uh, so we over here at the monster tank. I got the lights dimmed off, so that way y'all can really see the tank. But this is our monster tank for the, all the people that haven't seen these fish. We got our beautiful red-tailed catfish. We got a nice peacock bass. We got two big old Oscars, two big clown knives. There's a big old paired cichlid back there with a nuclear hump on them like a flower horn. Dude, so dang big. And then we got two massive um plecos in here but i'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys i got some um goldfish out of the pond we're gonna go ahead and feed these guys before we acclimate the garami just to make sure ain't nobody gonna be aggressive or nothing with a new fish coming in and if you guys notice we're missing a fish we're missing our arowana the arowana had died on me i had lost power probably about two weeks ago and my power was off of like seven hours and he didn't make it through the power outage so we lost our massive silver era one but we definitely be getting another one i'm thinking about getting like a jardini or something but it sucked i was kind of upset about it but you know it comes with the game but let's throw some feeders in here i know this bass watch this bass right here Woo! let me just back up so y'all can just see it boom knock them off quick see this red tail it's one more fish stuck in the net. Boom, gone. Look at my red tail. I love this catfish. Woo, don't get scared. Hey, you can't be doing that, brother. You're going to scare me. Uh, but I also got some shrimp. We're going to try to feed them some shrimp as well. We'll get this catfish to come up and do a little top feeding. Once he smells the shrimp, he's going to come up here. Watch. Here he comes. Don't be scared. Bass got him one. This thing about it, I gotta feed the cat first before I feed anybody else. Woo! Oh, shit. He got my finger on that one. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Scared that shit out of me. Come on. The Oscars, they'll get them some too. Yeah, these guys eat me out of house and home, man. I feed them so much. It's ridiculous. I go through super tons of bags of shrimp and tilapia all the time. 
so we can get that cat to eat all of our hands again. Come on. I can't wait to put him in the pond so we can like pet him. That's gonna be super dope. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna move away this time because you'd be striking. And the last two right here. Don't be scared. I wish my arrow one was in here, man. I'm super salty about my arrow. Come here so I can pet you. Nah, he's scared. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little feeding video and they didn't got my glass all wet. Give y'all a little feeding. Show you how aggressive these dudes are. Can't wait to get them in the pond, but we gonna go ahead and get this garami acclimated to this water. Let them float for a while and uh, get them adjusted. I could like drip acclimate them or like, uh, I'm probably just gonna leave them in the bag, open the bag up and pour some water into the bag over probably like the next 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. And then he'll be ready to go. So let me do that. We're gonna get this guy in there. But if you made it this far in the video, make sure you hit that like button because we is about to release this new giant garami into this temporary home. Let's watch him swim out. Woo! <laughs> There you go. And he's actually way smaller in here than I thought compared to like the other fish. He is pretty small actually. But let me uh give you guys a little closer look. This dude is looking phenomenal in here. Look at him. Beautiful fish, man. Y'all need to let me know in the comment section what should we name him? Let me know because he's definitely gonna be a new mascot in the fish room. All these fishes look beautiful in here swimming. Cannot wait to get them into the pond next week. Hopefully next week we can add everybody to the pond. And this, this tank can be opened up for something doper. I got a plan with this tank as well. This is 120 gallons, a 4 by 2 by 2 So it's a pretty big tank. Is that the cloud messing with them? I better leave my fish alone. But yeah, everybody in here doing good. Look at that grommy, man. He is beautiful. Did we take a W on this today, man? Y'all need to let me know in the comment section. Did we take a W? I think we did. But while we're here, let me give you guys a little update on the tank that we worked on yesterday. You can see all the fish out swimming and healthy, looking good. Look at the puffer just out and about, ready for food. This tank came out absolutely amazing. I came down here this morning. I was like, oh my God, this tank looks so good. All little tetras in here swimming. Looking phenomenal. But that's going to be pretty much it for today's content. Super happy that we got that new giant karami. Y'all can let me know in the comment section what should we name them. Whoever got the most likes on the comment of the name, that's going to be the name of the fish. So I'm going to let you guys pick this one. So whoever get the most likes on their comment of naming the fish, that's what's going to be the name of the fish, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely got more coming. The grind don't stop. And uh, we're going to keep bringing banger after banger after banger. And then hopefully next week we can start adding some fish into that pond because I'm ready to see fish in there just as much as you guys is. But I got to do it the right way. I got to be a responsible fish keeper. And I can't just be throwing fish into uh, water that's not ready. You know, I got to do it the right way just to make sure nobody dies. So. That'll be coming here soon. We got more videos in between time. So if you're new around here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your post notifications so you notified when I drop these videos. And I'm out of here, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one.